Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your March 2018 monthly reading. Generally my readings turn out to be love readings but we will see whatever comes up for you. This is for the sign of Aquarius. Now I want you guys to really use your common sense. This reading may not be for you and I have to say that because some people don't get it. Okay, They don't understand that not every reading is for them. All right. So really think about this and don't base your life on a tarot reading, okay? This is a perhaps situation. Many of you are thinking about leaving a situation or you have just left a situation. It's definitely on your mind. There could be an unexpected choice in love. There could be a new contract that's being presented to you, whether it's at work or in your love life. You know, maybe you're thinking about even ending a contract or you're thinking about a new one. Either way, it appears that you're wondering, should I go or should I stay? What should I do? You know, and it feels like many of you are being offered a new journey, a new chapter, but you're resistant. You know, you're you are resisting it for some reason. This is the opportunity to start a new, to start a whole new life. But you're resisting it because it's the world card reverse. It's like, I, I can't do it. I'm not quite ready yet. Yes, okay. So many of you could be even going through some sort of breakup. There's definitely a disappointment here. There could have been a breakup or there's a breakup on the horizon. You're still thinking about it. Um, I do see that there's, there is some... Um, Maybe there's been some rejection, you know, and that's what's holding you back. Maybe you've been rejected and you just can't get over it. It's just quite a shock that you've been rejected, you know, because you probably felt like this was a soulmate. I'm not sure who this is for, but somebody probably feels like whoever they were dealing with was a soulmate and they just can't move forward. But I feel as though, um, you know, with a little bit more work and a little bit more honesty being honest with yourself you'll be able to get through this and this is a lesson that needs to be learned it's a it's a phase that is coming to an end whether you like it or not something is coming to an end you're resisting it right now i understand that but i feel like you know many of you are at a point where it's time to accept the truth it's time to do the right thing it's time to be just it's time to be honest with yourself I feel as though you've been through some sort of um, trouble in your life, some kind of trouble, and now, you know, even though it's disappointing, you're thinking, you're still thinking about it. You're still thinking about moving forward, okay? I, I see that there's a lot of disappointment here for somebody that's watching this, and they're stuck. They're refusing to see. They're refusing to see the new approach. So why? Why are you refusing to see the new approach when all you need to do is be honest with yourself? Somebody isn't being honest with themselves. They're refusing to see other options. This is the Five of Cups. They're just concentrating on the loss way too much instead of realizing that there are many other options. There are. There are other options for you if you would just look elsewhere. But the thing is, is you were involved in a toxic situation. This is the Devil card. You were involved in a situation that was definitely sexual definitely addictive and obsessive and lust okay and what does the devil bring in the devil brings in ties that are nearly unbreakable the devil is now connected to this world card we have a lesson that needs to be learned here you have to use your sword to cut the cords the chains that bond you to this person this is a karmic lesson it karmic lesson that you have to you have to do i mean you have to learn it or you know it's going to keep repeating you're going to keep struggling and you're going to keep being mentally restless until you do the work and break free of these chains that keep you bound until then there are no new opportunities this is the ace of wands reversed by you refusing to see another approach by you a refusing to see other options you are refusing to allow any new path to open in front of you the devil is controlling you right now it's like you're just you don't have you don't have the strength right now it's like you're just sitting back and you're probably bitter and angry and upset and but you're not really doing anything about it. it's mouthy you may be speaking but you're not doing 
okay? You may be just, you know, spouting off at the mouth and saying things, but you're not taking any action. There's lack of action being taken here, Aquarius. You know, and you can't lie to the universe, okay? You can't. So you could sit there and you can't, you could tell anybody that you're over this person, but you can't tell the universe because the universe can see right through you. So this, you're, you've been dishonest with yourself. I mean, this, I'm telling you right now, you've been dishonest with yourself and it's time to be honest. That's the basis of your reading. Be honest. You've been dishonest. You're letting the devil control you. And the devil isn't this other person. The devil is an energy that you are letting control. You are here. This situation that I'm talking about is a karmic lesson that you need to learn. And it's going to take a lot of hard work for you to learn it. But you you just, you have no energy. That's the page of pentacles. You have no energy. You have no desire. You're just, you're not moving. You're not going anywhere. You're just staying stuck. You're not, t you're not learning a lesson here. You're just feeling, you're taking an irresponsible approach. When the fact of the matter is, is that all you have to do is step outside of your comfort zone. Because once you do, you'll find somebody else. There is an opportunity for new love. With that lover's card, with the two of cups, there is an opportunity for something unexpected to come into your life. A new partnership, a new contract with a new relationship. That leads to a lot of happiness. But in, in, in law, as this is the Ace of Swords reversed. As long as you live in denial, that's not going to happen. We have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords is next to this Two of Cups. You have to accept the truth of a situation before you can move forward. You have to really invest in yourself. You have to invest in, in the new approach. Okay? You need to invest in seeing the other options, okay? You need to stop being dishonest with yourself if you're looking for happily ever after, that is. For many of you, you've been holding on tightly, holding on, holding on, and you're contemplating releasing. You're contemplating, really con releasing, okay? Another ace reversed. Three aces now reversed. This is the ace of pentacles. The fact of the matter is, is you're not going to receive any new security, any new stability, any new anything until you release. You have to release. You have to release this toxic bond, that this toxic karma that you are tied to. And it is going to require you to step outside of your comfort zone and work hard to release it. Okay, you're going to have to. Until then, you're not going to feel secure. You're not going to feel st stable. You're not going to receive any newness into your life, any new love, true love, true love. You're not going to receive true no love until you accept the truth of a situation and be honest with yourself or with somebody else. Honesty is needed here. Many of you need to go through this completion, because this is a completion, to find security. Your ultimate happiness, your ultimate happiness and security is after you learn this karmic lesson. You have to stand up for yourself. You do. You need to stop being stubborn. You need to stop being hot-headed. You need to stand up for yourself. You have to have self-respect. Right now, you are have you are unreasonable. It's like you're unreasonable. You're the, whatever is going on in your head is unreasonable. It's unrealistic. It's not not going to happen. Things are out of balance. You may be hiding the truth with some sort of addiction, overindulging in some way. Things are, you know, you can't manifest what is it meant to be. And I know I said this for somebody else, but with those three aces reversed, you cannot manifest what isn't meant to be. And it's time to seriously stand up for yourself. This is the hangman. It's reversed. It's time for you to stand up and stop resisting this change that is needed. 
you're going to have to struggle through this and see life, see the new approach, see the new perspective, see the new outlook, see the other options. You're going to have to because we're at wherever you're focused right now is unrealistic. And the fact of the matter is, is you need to sever some ties. This is severance. You need to sever some ties. And you know that you do. You need to break these chains that are holding you. So for March, what I can see is that you have an opportunity for love. But the universe is saying, hey, you haven't released something yet. Are you going to be honest with yourself and release it? Are you, go are you ready to move on? Are you ready to learn this karmic lesson? Are you ready to put in the hard work? Are you ready to be 100% honest? Honesty is needed here. Most of it's being honest with yourselves. You can't change the plan. You can't manifest what is it meant to be. You're thinking about walking away from something for good. For good. But I feel like that's uncomfortable to you because it's, it's very uncomfortable to walk away from something that you've known not knowing what's in the future. But that's the lesson that you need to learn. The universe is saying, you know what, if you have the strength, if you, have, if you are able to step outside of your comfort zone, if you are able to put in the hard work, we will bring you your true love. We will bring you this new partnership that leads to happiness and abundance. But you have to walk away from this devil that's in your life. This devil energy, whatever it is. There's a devil energy, somebody who is keeping you bound where you don't need to be. It's false, it's fake, it's lies. It's not never gonna lead to anything but sex or or greed. Oh, interesting. Clearing. Clear the clutter. When in doubt, throw it out. Is that your card or what? Aquarius. <laughs> There's your answer. You don't need any more words from me, do you? Talk to you later.